Vernon's defense gives the Vikings great field position here early in the first quarter as Ricky Longombardi and Chris Gonzalez stop Cody Greenhagen and Morris Knowles on the botched punt attempt at the Morris Knowles 27. Then Vernon's outstanding quarterback Matt Soltis hits Gonzalez in stride as he comes out of the backfield for 12 yards to pick up a first down at the Knowles 2. And two plays later, watch this great bootleg fake by Soltes as he scampers in untouched around the right end and the Vikings take a quick 6-0 lead over the Golden Eagles. Morris Knowles didn't waste any time in responding, however. Watch quarterback Mike Stango make the dive fake before dropping back and hitting a wide-open Steve McCowan with this pretty 72-yard scoring strike, and we are tied at 6 here in the first quarter. Okay, this game has the makings of a shootout. Watch Soltis sell the screen pass here as he throws it back to Tyler Parrish who breaks free thanks to his great block by Chris Rourke and he scampers 45 yards to pay dirt and Vernon takes a 13-6 lead in this wild first quarter. But Morris Knowles can hang on to the ball and the Golden Eagles fumble again. Vernon recovers at the Morris Knowles 20 and the Vikes are set up again. And Matt Soltis cashes in the miscue right here as he takes it right up the middle for an 18-yard touchdown as Vernon races to a 20-6 lead late in the first quarter. Soltis finished with 76 yards rushing on the night. We move to the second quarter and watch Soltis do it on defense as he comes up and makes his great stick here for a two-yard loss and Morris Knowles eventually has to punt. He can do it all, folks. All right, back to offense for Soltis and the Vikings and watch Soltis work his magic again as he takes off and gets a great block from Matt Wigger before making the nifty cutback move as he saunters in for a 48-yard score and the Vikes push their lead to 27-6. So we know Soltis can run, pass, and tackle, but can he defend the pass? Well, here's your answer as he makes the perfect read, picks off the pass for the Vikings before being knocked out at the 10, but Vernon would miss a field goal attempt. Vernon gets the ball back and watch Nick Pascarella bust through this huge hole for the Vikings as he rumbles 13 yards for a TD, and Vernon is rolling 34-6 over the Golden Eagles. Okay, Vernon's not through here in the first half, and what a play here to cap Vernon scoring in that half as Soltis buys some time, he rolls out, he launches this bomb that goes about 65 yards in the air, and Mike Freeman makes a tremendous catch in the end zone, and Vernon takes a 41-6 lead at the break. Soltis finished the night 12 of 26 passing for 232 yards. All right, Vernon starts the second half where it left off. Watch Soltis again as he finds some time. He finds Matt Wigger who makes his beautiful 32-yard catch right at the pylon as he holds it in for a touchdown. And Vernon goes on to an impressive 47-13 win for their second straight victory as the Vikes improved to 3-6. Everybody came out. Uh, we really want to do it for all the seniors, get that last win, well, possibly last home game win. And uh, we came out, did our jobs, and got the job done. We really have to give it up to our offensive line. They gave Soltes time to throw it, and he was able to find the open receivers. And then when we did get some run plays, we were able to get yardage to give us first downs and keep the drive alive. And we pretty much just executed and was able, uh, we were able to put some points on the board. We came out fired up like usual. We wanted this for the seniors and all of us. Uh, most of us were pumped when we were in the locker room, warming up, getting ready. The fact that you know now we're we're starting to play with a little confidence, it seems like, uh, so so it's good for us. It's good for them because the beginning of this season, you know, it was almost like we were trying to feel our way through it, and now they're just letting it happen, and, and it's going really well for them.